Welcome to the Australian National Botanic Gardens. This is a native botanic gardens and we're here to see how many native bees we can spot. It's a fantastic time of the year, there's many, many out now and I'm wanting to introduce you to the wonder and diversity of our native bees. We've got about 200 in Canberra, but there are about 2,000 around Australia and we're still looking. So you may, if you're lucky, discover a new species that hasn't been discovered before. So let's go and find out what's here. I'm Julie Armstrong from Act for Bees, a local organisation in Canberra that's really an education and lobby group to get people to plant for pollinators. So this is an extraordinary abundance of so many species of bees. There are many, many species of native bees on this tea tree. And this is what we want. Basically when the bee or the insect flies to the flower and picks up the pollen and then goes to another flower, they're um, transferring the pollen to that flower and that is when the seed starts to form. And so by pollination, we're actually creating seeds for the future, the future of this plant's life. And it's quite amazing to see the amount of activity here. So this is a really special spot because uh, it's got a particular flower or plant, the center plant, that's still got a few flowers on it that the metallic green carpenter bee, which um, is a really, really special, great, um, one of the two largest bees. They think that probably a colony came in on plants and has established themselves in the botanic gardens. And because of the amazing di you know, bi diversity of, of native plants here, um, they've been able to survive. Just going to head down to the bee hotel. This is where the, the female solitary bees um, can, can lay in a variety of structures. So as you can see they've got a lot of um, logs that they've drilled holes in. So basically these, um, these logs are about 20 centimetres deep. They've used really long drills and this is what we've done in the workshop. We're really grateful to the Canberra Environment Centre because we've just done a bee hotel workshop this afternoon and uh, everybody um, basically decorated and, um, and constructed with um, bamboo. There isn't any bamboo here, but we added bamboo and pithy stems. And so there's a variety of materials you can use. So it's great to see so many of these holes have actually been used. The female solitary bees um, can, can lay in a variety of structures. And as you can see, there's ones, this you know, dark brown is a relatively recent one. There's actually quite a lot of activity here. And also, if you see green, that also means uh, um, the resin bees have been visiting. Many people have bee hotels and, and they just haven't worked. So one of the things is facing east, morning sun, um, off the ground about um, one and a half metres, 1.5 metres. And um, if possible, a bit of shelter so they don't get wet. Native bees have only got a very small foraging range from 200 to 500 metres. So that means basically that's their territory. Uh, so we first of all need to provide food. That's the main thing. Their habitat will possibly be in your garden. And often just a, a few holes is enough and some bamboo. It doesn't need to be a great big mansion. It's such a joy coming here and, and finding all the different spots where, look at it, look at the, the sky is alive, isn't it? This is Dianella, which is a really, really beautiful blue flower. And that's one of the colors that bees really love. Blue, purples, white, and yellow. So thank you for joining us at the Botanic Gardens. It's been wonderful to share the beauty and diversity of our native bees and obviously also with so many different species of flowers, of plants. Uh, we've got lots of information on our website about what you can plant 
if you live in the Canberra region, but we've also got planting guides for areas outside of the ACT. Thank you for joining us at the Botanic Gardens. Go out and look for native bees, butterflies, pollinators, and uh, go to our website and learn more.